Oh. Ooh. Sorry, if my OCD is going to kick in, I'm going to make this perfect, even though it kills class time. No, that's fine. Smriti, what, she, what is she doing? That's right. Why is she placing it there instead of placing it underneath fans? Perfect. Yeah, Taylor, be careful of that. Um, remember the whole engulfed in flames dying thing? Bad? OK. Um, good. Slash out, not. Got something else? Um, why don't you do the same thing with this If you can, then you should. <laughs> Wait, you want me to do both though? Sure. Beautiful slash. Oh, go ahead. That's okay. okay well Remember, use use the fingernails. It, it makes it much easier. Or your knuckle. <laughs> yeah, see, you got it. And we did. Yeah, take out fans. We forgot to slash that. Okay. Thank you very much, Taylor. Nice work. Look at what we've done. You have diagrammed core portions of the sentence. You really understand the sentence now. And it shows in the diagram. What don't you understand? Well, you don't yet have the grammar knowledge to diagram that far to watch a football game. Although, what do you know about this string of words? What can you identify in that string of words already? Ben. No, we haven't talked about clauses yet. What have we talked about? We've talked about subjects, predicates, noun, and verb phrases. What can you identify? Sam? That modifying um, canvas Southview, Is what modifying fans of Southview? That uh, No, it's actually modifying go. But don't worry about that. I'm looking simpler, Sam. I'm not looking for you to demonstrate any sort of understanding of relationships. I'm just asking you to look in this string and tell me what Sam, I'm sorry. This is, this is me not being clear. We've learned verb phrases, and we've learned noun phrases. Do you see either a verb phrase or a noun phrase in that string? Isn't there a verb phrase? No, because you only have watch, but you don't have a helping verb, right? OK. okay. That's all right, Sam. Alyssa. Um, would tickets were sold in noun Oh. Tickets were sold. Uh, but what is the noun phrase surrounding tickets? Um, yeah. Now, Alyssa, I, I don't think you saw that simply because you're looking for something that's more complex. And you look at the tickets, and you think, well, that's too simple. But that's what we're talking about with noun phrases. We're talking about the simple. So when I see the tickets, yes, that's a noun phrase. Sam, where's the noun phrase in that string of words we were paying? There you go. A football game. OK, find another noun phrase in the sentence. Yes, Ashley. The night. the night, perfect. And you have at least a rudimentary sense of how to diagram those. You're not quite sure where they might go in the sentence diagram yet, because we haven't gotten there. We've just introduced the technique. But you already know a lot. And Nick's sentence, which seems to be extraordinarily complex, I think, uh, Taylor, you called it a novel rather than a sentence. 
um, is not actually all that complex. It's first of all a compound sentence, which means we have two subject predicate pairs. We have a bunch of ad It contains, um, contains an infinitive phrase, and that's why it's going to drive you nuts. But we haven't gotten there yet. What? Challenge? 